Hello name nerds, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names where each week we're looking to the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we're looking to the first name of Timothy. Now Timothy seems to have this image of being a really childish name. Well, not so much the name Timothy unto itself, but more its nickname and diminutive of Tim and Timmy, respectively. Now, you may not think yourself that the name Timothy is all that childish, and that's completely fine. We're all entitled to our own opinion on names. And personally, I'm not massively in the camp Tim is a childish name, but I found many sources saying it is, one of them being Nameberry. Now, if you don't know Nameberry, they're my go-to website, all things name. They're a baby naming website. I'm probably the only person not pregnant or not able to be pregnant checking out that website on a regular basis, I imagine. Uh, but they have an extract on their entry all about the name Timothy, and it says the short form Tim feels eternally boyish. And that kind of sort of explains how this name has that sort of childish connotation. At least in a more positive light anyway, another naming website I use behind the name, they have a comment section for each name out there. I've talked about this before, they're always fun. And I went to go check Timothy's comment section and I found some other comments that weren't as flattering about the name having a boyish childish charm or anything. So uh, I'm gonna read out three here. One it comes from Lady Hearts from the 29th of May 2022 and uh, they said only fits a little boy along with it being nicknamed Timmy. And then Kiara23 said it sounds kind of childish to be honest with you. And then Pink simply said childish. So clearly many people out there are thinking that this name has like a childish connotation out there. It's not just one or two people. This is this is clearly a thing that this name has to deal with. I even found a Guardian article from 2013 called Why It's Tough of Being Called Tim and it explains kind of the woes and troubles this name has gone through in more recent years. So I say recent, gosh, 2013 was almost 10 years ago. My word. Um, sorry, we're on an absolute tangent there. But it kind of just shows that this name does have a bit of a hard time, it seems. Clearly, a lot of people think that this name has a childish image, but why is that the case? Well, I've looked into it and I can safely say it has nothing to do with this name's meaning. Timothy is a name of Greek root and it simply means honouring God. It comes from the Greek Timaeus, meaning to honor, and Theos, meaning God. So, Timotheos, Timothy, that's where we got Timothy from here in English. I think what makes this name sound so gosh darn childish to so many people out there is its nickname and diminutive form of Tim and Timmy. I've talked about diminutives so many times here on Fun With First Names, but if this is your first Fun With First Name video, first off, hello, Karen watching them, please, they're quite good fun. And secondly, if you don't know what a diminutive is, it's kind of like a nickname, but they can often be longer than the initial name and they're kind of more affectionate. You only really use diminutives for people you're affectionate with. So, in example, if you were to meet someone called Timothy at an office meeting or something, you probably wouldn't call them Timmy straight away, but once you got to know them, become a bit more friendly with them, you might call them Timmy. It's that, That's how diminutives work. But there's just something about this diminutive of Timmy. I mean, there are other diminutives like it, like Johnny for John or Billy for Bill. It just has this really babyish connotation, Timmy. Even like more so than Jimmy, which sounds exactly the same minus one letter. Timmy just has this itty bitty kind of sound. Maybe it's like the little T sound, the tiny Timmy. Speaking of tiny Timmy, that takes us on to our next segment about why I think the name Timmy is so childish. It's kind of spoiled it for you guys then, didn't I? This video had a really good flow by my mouth through in there. So yeah, speaking of Tiny Timmy or Tiny Tim, I think the main reason this name has such a childish connotation to it is simply due to all the fictional children with this name. There's of course Tiny Tim from Christmas Carol, as I just mentioned, he's at the quintessential sad little boy, little Tiny Tim, but there's also Tinny Tim from Futurama who's clearly an ode to Tiny Tim. But there's way more than that too. There's Timmy from Lassie, and if I've never watched Lassie myself, but he's the young boy who looked after Lassie, and he's one of the whole, Timmy's caught in the, caught, caught in the well sort of scenario. I butchered that, Timmy's stuck in the well. That comes from Lassie, but I found out Timmy never actually fell down a well in Lassie. Uh, that kind of connotation just emerged from it. There's even a TV trope's page called Timmy Fell Down the Well. But that's just a quintessential young boy also called Timmy. There's also Timmy Turner from Fairly Odd Parents. Um, I love Fairly Odd Parents as a show when I was younger. 
But once again, another young Timmy also down on his luck. But there's also more than that too. There's also Tim Drake, who was one of Batman's many Robins. And of course, the whole gimmick of Robin is that he's a boy wonder. He's a younger boy compared to Batman. That's another famous boyish Tim. There's also Tim Murphy from Jurassic Park. I think more people probably know him as the little boy from Jurassic Park and they actually know he's called Tim Murphy. I love Jurassic Park, but I didn't remember that fact as I saw it on Google. And the last one I want to talk about is Tim from the UK office. Obviously, he's Jim in the American one. And while Tim from the office isn't an actual child, I think one of the plot points is he's literally turned 30 in that show. He has a very childish mentality. He pulls pranks and is silly in all sorts of ways. He's a very childish character despite not actually being a child. Of course, he's called Tim. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to tell you all right now. There is just a huge amount of little children or childish characters in media, in fiction, called Tim, Timothy, or Timmy. So much so, it's really made this image for this thing that's a name for little children, little silly little boys. It's a name for kids like that. Tim is the go-to name for silly little no good boys. But that isn't the case. There are many respectable grown-up Tims out there. If you're called Tim watching this video, then I'm sorry if I've upset you with this. You're not a child. You're a man, goddammit. Or a woman. I've read that Timothy, there's been cases of women called Timothy as well. That's awesome. I, if you're female Timothy, let me know in the comments below. And I just noticed I'm actually dressed like a massive child for this video. I was just wearing this. Strange. Life works in a strange way. In the USA, Timothy is the 201st most popular boy's name. Now, I was quite surprised to see this. I thought it would be way lower down, but that isn't the case at all. However, it does appear to be on the decline. Will it come back up? Will it stay down? I don't know. And here in the UK, it's the 389th most popular boy's name. So definitely far more popular stateside than here. Famous Timothys and Tims and Timmies include Tim Burton, the famous movie director, most commonly working with Johnny Depp. My favorite work of his is The Nightmare Before Christmas, but I don't think he actually directed it. I think Henry Selleck directed it. Did he even write it or did he just produce it? I can't remember. Also, go watch Big Fish. That's one of his few films that doesn't feature Johnny Depp and is just Marvellous. It's a great film. One of his most underrated films. Go go watch that. There's also Tim Cook, the current CEO of Apple. He replaced Steve Jobs, I believe, when Steve Jobs passed away. And of course, there's also Tim Berners-Lee. He's one of the most influential and I personally most important people in modern history. He created the World Wide Web. Like, this this wouldn't be happening right now if it weren't for Tim Berners-Lee. He's a hugely important figure. I've, I've often said, it's a bit of a tangent, I've often said, if there's anyone alive on our planet today who could be put on the uh, British currency, because it's always that like, important British figures and Tim Berners-Lee's British, uh, it'll be him because of the influence he's had on the world. Like, the world we live in wouldn't be what it is if it weren't for Tim Berners-Lee right now. I've gushed on too much. One last famous Tim, or Timothy I ought to say, is Timothy Charlemagne, the famous young actor boy. And while he is a young boy, he is not, it's not young boy, he's like 25 I think, 27. He's not a silly young boy, he's a very prestigious, respected actor. And he spells his name funny. Doesn't spell it how we normally spell Timothy. He spells it in a more mature way because he's making the name more mature. I think because of him, this name's going to skyrocket in popularity. That's my theory on the matter. Happy to be and wrong as always. But anyway, that's just about everything you guys need to know about the name Timothy. But what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Timothy? Are you called Timothy yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I just want to share some of the thoughts to you guys on last week's name of Sabrina. Is what I normally say at this part of the video. However, due to some sort of time restraints and traveling I'm doing this week, I'm actually filming this video a bit earlier than normal. So I haven't had the chance to record or even release that video yet. So no Sabrina names just yet. In our next video, we'll have comments on the name Sabrina and comments on the name Timothy. Cool? Cool. Go suggest some names down in the comments below and I'll pick three of those to be put into a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. And the winning name from that poll will be the name covered in the next Fun With First Names video. I've just noticed my camera's dying, but you know the drill, patreon.com forward slash name explain. $1 a month helps in a huge way 
Gosh, this video is a shambles. I'm being a big child of this one. Go support on Patreon if you want to. I've got recordings before that camera dies because I've got places to go and stuff to do. Patreon.com forward slash name explain. One dollar a month. Help out there. Name explain. Yada, yada, yada. Add free videos. Go. But anyway, that's more than enough for myself. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram where I'm name explain YT. And don't forget to go join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain where you can chat with myself and many other name nerds. I need to go charge this camera. Take care, guys. Till next time. The current CEO of Apple, he took over, took over, went really Aussie then. They say the short form, I got a text, one moment. Now you may, no one ever texts me, how strange, I've never had that happen before in this video. From 2013 called It's Tough Being Called Tim, is that what it's called? The producer and writer of The Nightmare Before Christmas. He didn't, did he write, I can't remember, we got that. I even found a Guardian article from 2013. 20, cool.